Hello, my name is Jimmy Berry and I'm an employee at Milton Rubin Toyota of Augusta. Today we're going to be talking about changing out a flat tire on a 2015 RAV4. First thing you want to do is make sure that the vehicle, is, the engine is in the off position and make sure that the parking level is in the park position. Then you also want to throw up your emergency brake if you're going to change out either two tires in the front of the vehicle. The reason for this is to make sure that the vehicle does not move while you're in the process of changing the front tire. Here in the trunk is where you will have all the, the tools and everything you will need in order to change out a spare tire. Here you have your tire, your wheel jack tools, Here is your spare tire. And then this little side compartment is where you'll find the, the jack itself. And sometimes it may be in there a little tight to keep it from moving around while you're driving. It is good to take your, um, your special tool and just use it to loosen it up a little. So, just a little twist just to loosen it up just, just so you can get it out. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take these and we're going to start changing the tire. When positioning the jack, you want to make sure that the, this part of the jack right here is in the up position. And these two, this little groove right here is here so that you can put the jack in between the two notches underneath the vehicle. Right now you can hand turn it just till you get it good in position. And once you got it in there as tight as you can turn it, you're gonna take these two tools. These two tools will come together to make your wheel turning tool for the jacket itself. And then you use this to continue raising the vehicle as such. So once you get your jack nice and snug, you want to try to loo you want to loosen the lug nuts while the tire, the spare tire is on solid ground. That way, when you raise it up, it won't turn. But with the pressure we put on these, these are made so you can put your foot on them and push down on them to break the lug nuts as such. So don't be afraid if you got to stand on it or put a little foot pressure into it. These things are made to take that kind of pressure. Remember, you don't want to take all the little nuts off at one time. It's okay to take off one, but leave the other for one. You just want it nice and loose for when you get ready to raise it up. Now, right now, we're going to put, the, put these back on the jack, put these on the jack, and we're going to raise the vehicle up. Now, with the tire completely off the ground, you can start preparing, you can start taking, loosening up the nuts using this right here on the other end without the use of your foot. Try keeping all your lug nuts together so you won't lose them. Usually on the last few, you on the last one, you usually have to push and hold the tire in to get the last one out. Like such.
Then with that, you easily take the spare tire off. Or take your flat off and you can get this safely out the way. Then you want to place on your spare. Make sure your spare is fully inflated. This spare is made to go, it's for temporary use only. And you, in most cases, you can usually get like 55 to 75 miles out of them. We recommend no more than 55 miles out of each spare. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this on. When you put it on, you wanna make sure that the outside, this is the outside part that'll be sticking out. And this is the inside part. In some cases like this, where the tire, top, the vehicle is not up high enough, it may be necessary to give the jack a few turns just to raise it up a little bit higher for this to go, for the tire to go on. Like what we feel to do right now. Now with a few extra turns, let's try and see if we can get it to fit in here. And there you go. The tire is on. After that, you start tightening in your studs. You want to make sure that your first stud goes in good and snug. Then, because your first stud will usually be your guide on. Once the first one is good and snug, then you just start putting in the other four. Now with that on, you're gonna wanna take your special tool right here. And like I said, you don't you can only tighten it so far off the ground. You don't wanna kick or put foot pressure on the vehicle while it's in the air car. All that pressure will go to that jack, which may cause injury. But when you do your initial tightening by hand, you wanna try to do it in a star-shaped pattern. Like I said, once you when you put a tire on, you wanna be able to put it in a star pattern. That way you can torque it down evenly around the whole, around the tire. Cause if you don't torque it down evenly, it could cause improper tightening of the spare tire or any tire. So the best way to do it is by star pattern. Either way you go, you just don't want to do two lug nuts side by side when torquing and putting pressure on it to lock it on. That way, for example, if you put this one on, you'll want to go to this one or this one to tighten it up to even out the pressure when you tighten it. And that's the reason for the star pattern. Now you're ready to bring the vehicle back down. Now when you see where the jack is starting to move, you can take this off and you can turn it by hand. But once you get the spare tire on and it back on the ground, you want to take this tool and repeat the star pattern. It don't have to go the same way, but you don't want to tighten two of the lug nuts side by side. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put a little foot pressure on it to give it extra torque. Now turning it by hand will not provide you with enough torque enough safe torque so we're gonna use our foot to put a little extra torque on the little nuts give it a little extra turn usually when you hear a little groaning noise that means it's torquing in this case that's a good thing but you don't want to overdo it Now 
with that, you just take your, lower your jack all the way down. You want to get the jack as it fall down as it can go right now. And then you just put your tool back in the trunk. Make sure when you put this back in, you want this end up facing out this way. And when you place it in, you want to be able to have it where it will turn and it will lock it. It have to lock itself right here. If not, you'll hear it rattling all around when you get ready to leave. Place your tool back in this specially tool pouch. And so. Place all that back in there nice and neat. Fasten it back. Put it back over here in this little compartment. And your spare tire or your deflated tire you can fit right up in here where your spare tire was set. Maybe a little too big, which it is. So I mean, I have to place this in here. Just place the spare tire there, take it to your nearest Toyota dealership to get your tire repaired. And that concludes how to change out a spare, I mean how to change out a flat tire.